Melbourne Knights hosted Dandenong Thunder on Friday night at Knight Stadium as the club's PS4 MPL Victoria campaign continued. Andrew Marth's men had an opportunity to take the league's top spot should other results on the night go their way, with the squad undefeated in all competitions at the current early stage of the season. To team news, and the only alteration to last weekend's starting 11 that defeated Melton Phoenix in the FFA Cup was the inclusion of James McGarry which meant Anthony Colosimo returned to the bench. Second choice goalkeeper Michael O'Farrell also returned to the substitutes list after a week off due to injury. For Danny Nong Thunder, head coach Stuart Munro made four changes to his side that lost 5-2 to Green Gully in the last MPL round, with Lewis Foster, Ari Ritz and Afghan international Faisal Safa promoted to the starting 11. Gideon Sweet was dropped from the entire squad, while Michael Garris, Yusuf Ahmed and DJ Amobie was demoted to the substitutes. Alex Deo and the club's leading goalscorer Andrew Barashic got the match underway, which started what was a rather uneventful first period. That said, it was the away side who created the first chance of the match when an attack resulted in Thunder's Jared Barnes forcing a save from Chris May to his near post. Up the other end, and McGarry put a free kick on target. in and Thunder tried their luck from range after a period of play when neither side really created much. Four minutes later though and the game started to open up. A good cross by Alex Deo set up Barisic in the box but his glancing header went inches wide of the far post. Shortly after and with the Dandenong defence camped in their defensive third Stipo Andriashevich put a strike off target from outside the area. On the half hour mark, there was a moment of controversy when play was brought back after Barasic went one on one with Zane Zanelli. The striker was yellow carded for an apparent deliberate handball, although replay showed the former Gold Coast United man didn't know too much about it. Five minutes out from the interval, and some of Danny Nong's defenders did their best to get Barashit sent off when he and Zanelli contested for a 50 50 ball after a horrid backwards header from Adam Petko. Both players appeared to recover from the collision and both escaped sanction from the referee. That was the last moment of note from the first half, with the scores deadlocked at the break. The first real attack of the second stanza came just before the hour mark, and it was created through Alex Deo, although it was no real danger for Zanelli. The same could be said for Thunder's effort in the 68th minute, with goalkeeper Chris May not breaking too much of a sweat in denying the Thunderman's header. Roughly a quarter of an hour out from the end, and controversy struck again. This time when penalty appeals were made after James McGarry was wrestled to the ground inside the box, as well as a subsequent handball on the halfway line that kick-started a Dandenong counter-attack. The move was brought to a halt by a professional foul from Andriashevich, who picked up a caution for his efforts. Seventy-seven minutes into the contest, and Zayn Zanelli was forced into action, this time denying Barisic from an awkward angle. Oh, 
seconds later, and Andrei Arshevich spurned what was then the chance of the match, with his header going wayward. Although they were on the back foot for most of the match, Thunder did manage to play good football in patches, and in the 80th minute, forced the parry from May. With the match nearing its close, frustration started to creep into the Knights' attack, with Zara opting to shoot from range. Fullback Josh Brackelo had a similar chance two minutes later, although his low bullet of an effort just went the wrong side of the left post. In the dying embers of the contest, Andriyashevic managed to header a ball out of Zanelli's grasp before setting up Barisic, but the thunder shot stopper managed to smother the effort before it required a block on the line. From the corner that followed, the Knights finally grabbed the winner in climactic fashion when a scramble in the box ended with a strike by who other than captain Tomislav Uskok, which got a touch from Zanelli before going over the line, sparking euphoric celebrations from the Summer Street faithful. After recouping from the 90th minute goal, the Knights could have doubled their advantage deep into additional time, when a counter-attack eventually led to Andriyashevic putting a strike just over the crossbar. So a dramatic finish to what was otherwise a slow and uneventful encounter. But it won't matter for Andrew Mars' men, who sit on top of the PS4 MPL Victoria table with four games played and head to Werribee City next weekend to attempt to make it five league wins on the bounce.